Well, over the years in this job, I've been very privileged and fortunate to cover major sporting events, be it uh, Andy Murray winning at Wimbledon, uh, our Scottish clubs competing in European finals, and uh, major golf championships such as the, the Open at St Andrews. But I'd never ever covered Scotland um, competing at uh, major championships until the summer Euro 2020 and after a 23 year wait Scotland were playing amongst the big boys. Now I was based in Darlington uh, uh, with the Scotland squad that's where their base was and um, after the disappointment uh, of our defeat to the Czech Republic in the first match uh, we all headed down to uh, London for the match against England. I can tell you what an experience that was. Scotland fans coming at Euston Station or uh, King's Cross Station, all you could see was a sea of blue and white, some of them singing the John McGinn song, some better than others, or uh, Yes Sir, I Can Be Boogie, again, some better than others. It was a wash of blue and white. And of course, England against Scotland uh, at Wembley was live on STV. Uh, our guests were David Moyes and uh, John Collins. Now, I was, um, or we were, surrounded by England fans during uh, the match. Our presentation base was, and I mind saying to the guys at one point, we better be careful what we're saying here. We're surrounded by English fans. But see, when you're caught up in the emotion, you just get on with it. And I can tell you this much, 22,500 there were supposed to be fans because of the COVID restrictions, of which there were going to be 2,800 or 2,500 Scott fans. It did not feel like that at all. Anyway, we got a priceless draw against England, and that kept the, the tournament live for us as we headed back up to Hamden for our final group game against Croatia. And alas, disappointment. But there was disappointment. We lost to Croatia in that match, which meant our campaign had ended. But Callum McGregor gave us that magical moment when he gave us our first goal of the championship. So the experience as a whole was brilliant for me. I loved every minute of it. And of course, Steve Clark has got something special going with this squad. We've won our last six games and have made it to the playoffs for the World Cup in Qatar. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can see off Ukraine. And then in the final, it'll be either uh, Wales or Serbia. Come on, Scotland!